If you're here just because you can't find the right button to bring MIDI files into OpenMPT, it's just File, Append Module, and then select your MIDI. You want to make sure you use the template from GB Studio, which you can grab from a blank project or in the description. The default MIDI import pattern size is 128 rows, but the mod format requires pattern length 64. Control F1 to open up MPT settings and change this value to 64. If you don't already have a MIDI file and find the tracker interface too intimidating, there's a couple options. Some things to keep in mind for whichever path you choose. The Game Boy has four channels, no more. Two pulse channels, one wave channel, and one noise channel for percussion. That's it. You can't have more than three melodic voices and one noise sample playing at a time, no matter how much you want to. All your notes must be within the range of C3 to B8, and triplets are a pain. You can get the same effect by changing the speed every offbeat, but if you're working on your first ever mod track, which is likely the case if you're watching this, stick to rhythms divisible by two. If you're familiar with music notation, MuseScore is your best bet. It's free, extremely comprehensive, and can export to MIDI. I recommend writing each channel on its own stave, as it'll convert better when you bring it over into MPT. If you're not familiar with music notation, and a piano roll makes more sense to you, a lot of people tend to gravitate towards Beatbox, a free online music editor that you can get some pretty decent results out of by just clicking around and trusting what sounds right. Set up your instruments with Square, Square, and any of the other retro presets for Channel 3, and you're good to go. Personally, I use Ableton, and if you own Ableton or any similar software, it's safe to assume you know what you're doing there. If you are using a DAW, such as Ableton, FL Studio, Logic, etc., the plugin Papu by Circle Labs has been invaluable to me during the writing process. It's a free and quite accurate GB sound chip emulator for the first two Pulse channels, with all the restrictions built in, so you don't have to worry about needing to change things once you get it into MPT. I use some pre-made Game Boy drum samples to sketch out what I want for Channel 4, but end up redoing the percussion once my melodic voices are in open MPT, which I'll discuss later. I'm going to skip over how to actually write music for the sake of brevity, but there's plenty of great tutorials out there, such as this one from 12 Tone, and this video by Andrew Huang covers the basics of music theory in a really accessible way. Links in description. Each channel has four columns. The first column describes what note is being played in the format Note Accidental Octave. If you're importing MIDI, you shouldn't have to worry about this, as the MIDI will cover that for you. This is the main advantage of writing in another software first. The second column describes the instrument that plays the note, and we'll get to that in a second. Column 3 isn't read by GB Studio, so it can be more or less ignored. Column 4 is your effects column, which I'll also get to in a second. The timestamp's in the description. Okay, so you've got your MIDI into OpenMPT. What now? First things first, you need to change your instruments to the one GB Studio can read. MPT will import tracks with a variety of instrument numbers depending on your method of creating MIDI, and these will need to be changed once you bring your music over. Channels 1 and 2 can be assigned instruments 1 through 4, channel 3 can have instruments 8 through 15, and channel 4's instruments are 16 through 31. These are outlined and described in a cheat sheet document I made and on the GB Studio website. Control F to find and replace. Control L is your friend for copy and paste, as pressing once will highlight the whole channel in that pattern, and twice will select the entire pattern. There are some other limitations for volume and such, but it'll automatically snap to the closest available value, so don't stress too much. Some general tips for cleaning up mod files. If the octave of your imported MIDI sounds wrong, which can happen frequently, Control shift q and Control shift a will bump highlighted sections up or down an octave. You can also change the octave of the whole channel by right-clicking on it and transposing by plus or minus 12. If your track ends up being super long, with heaps of blank space, Alt-D and Alt-E are your friends. This shortcut will expand or contract the space between notes by a factor of 2. Just make sure to double check that half your notes don't get cut out. I find it good practice to render the whole song for each channel as a single MIDI file, for neatness sake. Worrying about three MIDI files is a lot less effort than worrying about any more than that. In addition, import each track one at a time and clean it up before moving on to the next. Test your track at every step of the way. Seriously. I've linked a template GB Studio project, you can just chuck your mod files into the asset folder and select it from the drop down. It will sound different to how it does in MPT, make notes on any changes you want and then go back and fix them. It's a bit of a tedious process, but if you aren't up for the challenge, you wouldn't be using GB Studio in the first place. F. Tempo. How many ticks per row? F01 is the fastest at about 900 BPM in game, and each value increase divides 900. For example, F03 is 900 divided by 3, so 300 BPM. Again, refer to the cheat sheet or the GB Studio website. C. Volume. How loud each note is played. This persists, so if you have a note and don't follow it with C00 at some point, 
that note will continue to play until another note is called. Interpolate effects, control K, with C values is an easy way to create ADSR for fade-ins and fade-outs. EC, note cutoff. If you want really short notes, EC will play the note at the same volume as the last C value and will cut off after X ticks. Make sure X is less than your tempo value. I use this all the time on the noise channel as short bursts of noise make great hi-hats. E8, pan. Where the note is played in stereo space. 0 to 3 is left, 4 to B is center, and C to F is right. MPT defaults to each channel pan slightly differently, but in GB Studio everything is played directly in the center unless you tell it not to. Again, another good case for testing in-game frequently. 0, arpeggio. Cycles between three notes, X and Y semitones above the bass note. Recently added are pitch bends and volume envelopes. One will portamento up by X multiplied by one over the frequency, the period, of the starting note each tick of the row except the first. The period of the note is referred to as one unit, so portamento will slide up by X units each tick. Two does the same but down. As the portamento amount is inversely proportional to frequency, the lower the current note is, the smaller the effect of one pitch slide unit will be, and vice versa. 9 is a hardware volume envelope. The first value is the starting volume between 0 and F, and the second value is the envelope. 1 through 7 is fading down, with 1 being fast, and 9 through F fades up, with 9 being fast. 0 or 8 won't fade. If you call this effect at the start of your track, such as 9F2, you won't have to worry about following every note with C00, as every note will either fade out due to this effect, or be swapped for a new one when called. Changing the C value when calling a note with an active 9 effect will change the starting volume of each note, but not the fade time. For looping, B will jump to pattern X in your sequence. This is the actual pattern number, not the label given at the top, which you can change by selecting it and writing a new number. D will jump to row X in the next pattern, though it can break the file if used incorrectly, so I tend to avoid it. Converting percussion to mod through MIDI is kinda more effort than it's worth, as channel 4 will only read note C5 and any timbral changes will come through changing the instrument. Some go-to drums I use are 16 for kick and 27 for snare and hi-hat, where the hats are cut off using the EC effect for a bit more snap. If you're composing using a higher speed command, you can extend these for a more nuanced percussion, such as 16, 30, 29 with decreasing volume for a kick and 27, 26 for a snare. Some common errors. This happens upon saving an MPT when you delete the reference to a pattern, but not the pattern itself. This is relatively benign, and the mod will still work in GB Studio with this error, but you can stop it popping up every time you save by deleting the unused pattern from the side panel. This will happen if you forget to clear all the extra channels added in by appending MIDI. Right click on any channel and select all the channels that aren't 1 through 4 to remove them. If you get random noises, either on track start or after looping, you can fix this by starting each channel with C00 and remembering to stop all notes with EC, 9, or C00. If there's anything I haven't mentioned here, and you can't find it in the docs or on the OpenMPT wiki, try asking the GB Studio Discord server. There's always a few lovely people around to help out in the Music Help channel. Goodnight Girls videos help me a lot starting out, and if she's around in the Discord, she is always super helpful. Rules, a major contributor to the audio system in GB Studio, and one of the moderators in the server, has helped me out of a few holes too. Both of these wonderful people also helped proofread the script for this video, so a huge thank you to you both. There are also a few resource packs out there if you're too intimidated to jump straight into making your own music. There's the GB Studio Community Assets, which contain a lot more than just music, and you may be able to find other free resource packs on places like Itch. If you're looking for help with Milky Tracker instead of MPT, Ember has some great videos on that, though currently you may still end up having to fix any errors through OpenMPT if you're unfamiliar with the mod format. I find it easy to keep it all contained in one place, so unless you're already used to Milky Tracker, I personally would recommend sticking with OpenMPT, but play around in both and see what works best for you. James Park has a couple of great work-in-progress web tools to aid with getting music into GB Studio. A Famitracker to Mod Converter called ft to mod that converts Famitracker data into text that is mod compatible for copy and paste, as well as a MIDI to Mod Converter that takes MIDI files and similarly outputs raw text that you can paste into MPT. As these are still works in progress, they won't be perfect and there may be some bugs. That's all from me, good luck with your game, cheers.